everybody, it's Candy. I want to talk a little bit about the Hobo clone made by Avogo, sold by Angel Six. So Angel Six sent this over. I've been using it for a few weeks now. And um, I kind of like this little guy. I think it's very petite, looks really good on a smaller mod. 22 millimeter Addy, four post design, copper center block, negatives are milled right into the deck. I'm gonna take you down close, give you a better look at it, show you what it looks like wicked up. We'll come back up and talk about how I feel about it. All right, here is the packaging that the Ivogo Hobo clone will come in from Angel Six. And you'll get a few O-rings and a very teeny, teeny, tiny Allen key. So tiny. Uh, uses two different kinds of O-rings, the regular rubber type and the silicone type. And that's it. All right, so we have four pieces. This one only comes with one ring, beauty ring thing. All right, so we'll start at the bottom. Made in the USA. It's a clone. Obviously, it was not made in the USA. Nice prominent pin on there. If you screw that with a screwdriver, your center block will start to spin. But I've not had any issues with it spinning just while building. That has been okay. Um, you have a knurled section right here to help you get the, the barrel part off with an O-ring right there. And then you have juice well, juice well, and nice square blocky posts, negatives milled right out of the base. And then a dual positive post and that is copper. All right, it uses the um, very tiny hex grub screws. And I found when building, you want to keep it up pretty high. You'll see why in a moment. Because here is your barrel, like your I don't know, deck walls. Okay, this is where the silicone O-rings are, and you've got two cutouts. These are to be placed in front of your coils. Okay, so when you build it and wick it, you want to do it without this on. Okay, so you're going to build it, you're going to wick it, and then you're going to screw this on. Okay, this is kind of a tight screw when you get to the bottom, but, you know, not bad at all. It just means it's not going to accidentally come loose, all right? And you can see why you want to build those coils high. Once you've got this on, juice it all up. Then comes the top cap. Top cap has your main airflow right here and here with your additional airflow up here. That's where the ring comes in. Here is your logo, which I think the hobo logo is kind of adorable. So the machining on these pieces is all done really well. Okay, so you would line that airflow up with these slots right in front of your coil. And then we have the kind of decorative slash airflow ring. This is the only part of this clone that I am, you know, not impressed with. It's some kind of plating. You know, it's not solid, it, it's some kind of a plating, and it's just not done very well. You can see it's, mm, and I cleaned this um, yesterday, cleaned it with some uh, ketchup. This is as shiny as it gets. So it's kind of, 
kind of cloudy and mottled, you know, it's got that old mirror look to it. And then also the, um, can you see that little bit right there? A little bit of a jaggy on the milling of that hole. So the ring itself is not as nicely done as the rest of the atomizer. That being said, it's not that bad. Okay, so this lines up with your additional airflow, which can be easily closed off if you don't want to use it. And I have had zero issues with any drip tips fitting. So give me a second to put some wicking in here. I'll show you what it looks like with wicking. All right. So there we go with the outer barrel on. It's all wicked up and juiced up. And in my opinion, it's just, it's such a tidy little setup. Everything is compact and well fit together. It's, it's a very kind of low profile atomizer, very small, very small chamber. Um, produces really great flavor. Because those coils sit so high and the well so low, I have never had it leak. I mean, any dripper could leak, but this one has never has never leaked, even the teensiest little drop. Um, tolerances on the O-rings are beautiful. Everything goes on and off, nice and smooth. As long as you don't have juice on your hands, um, all the adjustments are easy to make. So there it is. This is the uh, Copper Simple Clone from Amod. I think they look rather good together. So let's go back up and give some final thoughts. So there's your good look at the Hobo clone. My only complaint is the finishing on the copper adjustment ring at the top. I find it to be kind of cloudy, kind of dark, not very well done. The machining has, I found one, you know, flaw in it. Other than that, I'm really impressed with it. Everything screws together nicely. The tolerances on the O-rings are awesome. All the screws worked really well. Everything fits together well. Finishing on every other part is done really well. This is a flavor addy in my opinion. Everything's very compact and neat and uh, it leads to some really good flavor because you've got a really small area to work with. Um, the pricing on Angel Sigs is $11.72. So, for under $12, if you can get past the uh, kind of tarnishy looking adjustment ring, it's a smoking good deal on a really well done clone. Um, so, thanks again to Angel Sigs for sending this over for review. I will put links to their website to this product in the description down below. I want to thank you all for watching. Please subscribe. I'll see you next time.